first of all, Papa, please tell us your name. <laughs> His Holiness the Dalai Lama asked us to record the experiences of all the Tibetans to share with the younger generation of Tibetans, with the Chinese people and with people in the rest of the world. And your memories of your life are going to help us to properly document the true history of the Tibetan the experience of the Tibetan people. Um, do you give permission for the Tibet Oral History Project to use your interview? Oh, really? Yeah, sure. Thanks very much. Mm. Um, during the interview, if you want to take a break at any time, you need to go to the bathroom, stop, take a drink, just let us know. Uh -huh. If there's any question that you'd rather not answer, then just say if this interview was shown in Tibet and or China, would it make any kind of problem for you? ああ、なんで受けてしろだな。いいね。いいね。うん、感激してんじゃん。ノープロブレム。ちょっと、ヒーハードピアリングね。いやいや。オッケー。うん。イズイトオッケーとユーズヨーリアルネーム。ばらじ
yeah, I have been uh, to three uh, various places for a trade with my father, like a Jain Yama and the other like nearby. We have to go trade, uh, uh, taking the salt and animals uh, things to them and uh, return uh, to get, uh, get uh, grains from them. So he used to go and trade salt. With father, uh, he used to take salt and yeah, trade salt. for grain. To who and would he trade with? Uh, Gyanima. Uh, mm. And um, so would he actually go and uh, get the salt from the salt beds? Mm. <laughs> Yeah, there is in our case, you get there, uh, there is a lot no, of, of salt. There, we, there is no, in a free of cost, we can collect from them and we can go and uh, sell to others. So he lived very near where the near salt was. Near where the salt is there. So, um, so was it very cold in your region? And the people are Right, very cold, especially in the winter. Hmm. Is he from the Chantai? It's like a Chantan, that we used to make a, a salt all together and put it in a bag, which is a, uh, from a, a woolen bag. We take the woolen bag and then we put it and then we carry on the ship. So the salt is just completely exposed. It's just very easy to, to get it. Like you don't have to. It's not difficult. And <laughs> There is no problem of uh, taking the salt, but it's a very, uh, the ship faced lots of problems due to the uh, lots of weight in the salt. So uh, uh, for uh, after a few uh, uh, days, we have to be, make a rest for them and we have to uh, take the salt from the ship and uh, let them free. So it's very, when we go past for that, we have to take a haul for one or twice special for the ships as they're facing a lot of heaviness. 
So you used sheep to carry the salt. Why didn't you use um, a, a hardier yeah. animal like a yak? In our area, we used to carry a load on the ship. This uh, big animal we used for by the uh, Amdo people like that, when trading. No tea something, no less touching more, madam. Ah, no less touching more, madam. Ah, oh, tea or love, no material. Sahari? Sah, Sanchez, I just got it. Oh, what is touching more, my young man, the shower to the town? And Lula? No less touching down at Doctor Toka Chung Chung. Uh, because one, one problem is that if you want to go to trade with the Ganjima, where they, we are going to trade, uh, they need lots of, uh, yak needs lots of uh, grass or something like oh, that. Grass. Uh, like, uh, something like that. But uh, go, uh, uh, ship doesn't need much that. Uh, so uh, due to that, we have to see. make it uh, easier to uh, take the ship in the... Okay. And, and how, many, uh, how many days journey did you was your village from where you would go to get the salt? Uh, 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 it Sa came from that, lumba, that no? where the area salt is that from there to where the business center like we call Ganyama, where we used to go tra uh, trade, that could take one and a half month to do. From the salt to uh, the uh, Ganyama. Uh, and when you traveled, um, did you did you travel um, on horses or yaks or by walk. You are walking. Um, by walk. There is no way to do that. Then. You didn't have any horses? That's why. 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 Yeah, <laughs> Uh, uh, when for the trade, uh, we don't have any special horse used to it. Only one animal who to lead uh, uh, while going or something like that is to use always. We try to use horse like that for leading the animals. For leading the sheep? Sheep or animal, whatever we had. Sheep and these, these were taken lead by the animal uh, horses. Uh, but they were walking. Apparently. Walking. I like that he said it was close and then he said it's 11 to 12 days. It's <laughs> very relative, isn't it? Um, so one kilo of salt, how much wheat could you get for one kilo of salt? In return, they give, or if you give one kg of salt back, they'll give a return two kgs in return. Wait. So it was like twice as valuable. Mm. Yeah, twice. There is no salt in that area, so it's salt is very divine to them. So did you eat a lot of salt then in your village? Yeah, now we're going to have to eat it. Yeah. Yeah. Without salt, there is no taste in food. <laughs> but you don't have any. You have to use little salt, without the salt, it doesn't matter. Salt is very important to them because they don't have any salt. They don't have any salt. 
She says it's not very important to them because they because work. It's not solid. There is no taste. Oh, he said that earlier. Mm. Um, so, um, so yeah, your family had no shortage of salt. You could have as much salt as you wanted growing up, right? <laughs> And that area, there's mm. no problem at all. So, what do you think of like today? Everyone is being told to eat less salt. Are you, are you eating less salt? So you were supposed to technically pay tax, but the leader just was like, no, we're not going to do that. Oh, but the so was salt. There was a tax on salt in other regions. Other regions they have to pay. Salt. They did have to pay it, salt it, tax. They used to. They used to pay. Yeah. But in our region, they not in his region. So is it because um, the people in your village were particularly independent, or was it because of the personality of this of this leader? ตาเปดนะตาเจ๊ะเจ๊ะปมปดิจิจ้องตานะเปดเต็มหมดแล้วเจ๊ะเจ๊ะปมปดิจิจ้องตานะเปดเต็มหมดแล้วเจ๊
Cocaine, and here the people used to say now he may be dead or something that he came after two and three years back and he won the case and and he was uh, honored with a uh, special case there was a mark on a special uh, he was honored with a special cap that can be used and mm. one uh, bell was on his horse mm. can be used mm. such uh, he was a person because mm. he won this land won the land in case like that mm. wow. what was the name of this guy Midi Minkare. And um uh so um what happened to him? Any culture. Then the day get a letter and take on la letter, but touch a page to do with your gummy. So he does that the area doesn't have to pay much taxes in any or all the taps except some uh, for the animals. Mm. No, you, what what happened to Pon Kilo? Pon Kilo Kajel and Shul Long. Shul Long. And Kajel. Then the Pon Kilo take Tong Tong. Then they take a bird and a son of Pon Jot. Go Kajel Tong. Go, go take them then a good Nata Tong in Java. Then a Pon Kilo returned back with honor and later he was dead and his his post was taken by his own son. How did he die? ก็ขาดอยู่นั่นตรงนั้นนะครับนั่นตรงวิธีนั่นก็ภาษาละตรงนั้นเซ็งก็ก็ป้องกองดับที่จะคุมไม่พอสัจจะตรงแต่คําที
gezegen pont, de gezegen lakját nem tiszt így gyorsan. Lakját így egy szilánk, gezegi szátja, nem a tanzon szátja. De nem, gondolj, de gezegen pont, tudós pecsete. Szóval, de kalánok tokta. Pontosan a pancsa, te tanzon. So when the Chinese um, communists came into Gurdze Ger and mm. asked uh, the people to surrender their weapons, do you remember this incident? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can remember some words like that. Sorry? I can remember how the, it was going to, to be during that my age was about 20 years old. Yeah. So can you um, describe exactly what happened in as much detail as you can tell us about when the Chinese came in and asked your village to surrender? Mm -hmm. What you saw? Losum, <laughs> Bombonia, Tete yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, when uh, I, we, 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 Chinese was staying, staying before about three years back in Girke. And during that time, they was uh, using our animals and they were paying a good amount of the, for that. And later, like that, they, they, they uh, get this nearby this one village we are Girke and nearby this one Girke. They both used to discuss and share that uh, now, now we have not uh, given up any weapons to the Chinese authority. Shall we jointly face and challenge the Chinese authority? And uh, Gerke said, uh, Gerke said, I'm ready to face. I'm not going to give any weapons to the Chinese. But Gerke, he who's a very cunning person, very active, he amazed that if he no longer we can challenge him them, them because they had lots of Chinese armies were there. So he, he knew that if he challenged them, my people will suffer a lot. So instead of that, just surrender the weapon and our people will face, more pro will face less problems like that. So the KSJ people start uh, surrendering the weapons to Chinese authority. The girls say. And, uh, and later, uh, later uh, then who does the nearby who, who tried to 
the who Gurkhi, tried to, the Gurkhi uh, people uh, who tried to... He, say, he thought this information should go to the Chinese. He ran away from the uh, Gurkhi. And uh, later there was the, then uh, we faced many people coming to the exile and running away because it was 1959 or something like that. So the people of Gurge, they decided to stand and fight. Mm -hmm. And the people of Gurdze, mm -hmm. under the leadership of Pun Kilo's mm -hmm. son, decided to surrender mm -hmm. their weapons. Did you think um, that, was a, that was a good decision for Pun Kilo's son to, to say to people <laughs> to surrender the weapons? <laughs> But the Yaga Matak called Tan Yakoji Mela. Yeah, because it's very, I think it's the correct decision because we cannot fight at it against them. Is it better to surrender them or is it more safety or something like that? So when the when your village of uh, of Gurdze surrendered your weapons, um how did that happen? What did you actually do? That better na get the Get <laughs> Mm. <laughs> ラチャケスをしたって言うんです。だって、ジェロンジェロ、ね。ラサソータ、マクタマソータ、パパチーニチン、トゥーザ、カブサマニ。だって、コンタクトしてやる。チェンソパソ。人間民間に、ね、で、
Так, где-то понтон, так, детям типа он, так, пойдем за вами, кантон на роде мама. Ты, 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 Конго, я дам си, 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 Чаунсы Then during that my uncle was uh, caught under the Chinese and he was uh, tortured. Mm-hmm. And later he was called uh, and to put on or she the cut. Oh cook Jamal shot my and she was a man. So so he was taken under construction for three years continually. Later, uncle came in exile and he died in here instead. So, what did he say happened to him while he was in custody? And the country and the dark ocean does their work. Can you kill him in the Congo? No, right. That is that is now something new revolution, and he he was asked, he was let to go. He was freed. Mm. Yes, but what happened to him while he was? You said he was tortured. What mm. what happened to him? No, kill him in the Congo. Ну, Uh, he was uh, he was tortured and he faced a lot of problems. But later, uh, when he was in custody, jail or under the Chinese this one, uh, he was not much. But only he was under the custody. So he wasn't tortured much. Is what not saying. much. Not much. Um, so um, when he when he came out, how was his health? How he was? How was his health? Не He was always he used to have a problem with his health, and he, when he came in actual just few uh, more year, one year, two years, then he died. Then he died due to that health problem. So, did he t- ever talk about the conditions he faced in prison? Чакать, <laughs> And this was the main piece to face. So it was what with the big iron? Iron on tight on the hand. Mm-hmm. I, oh, mm. oh, uh, I, mm. like um, mm. 
They tied on the hand and leg yeah. and everyone body and handcuffs on her like that. Right. Oh. And you said that um, your uncle was captured when your family was trying to escape. Why was he the only one captured? Mm. He, he, he was, he was uh, uh, one of the, in our Gergis uh, administrator, he was working under the administrator. So when, when we coming for the exile, he, we, we came with uh, some Khamba people. So that uh, he, the Chinese authority caught us and said that, why are you going uh, with the Khambas? And if you are a leader of the Gergis, why are you not staying with them? Why are going to, with the Khambas? They are Lokchus. What is Lokchus? Lokchus means uh, they are... Uh, Mm, evils of the Chinese. Lokchus. Lokchus. Evil. So, uh, yeah. Evil so uh, due to that, my uh, uncle has got more tortures under the Chinese. Because of his position? My position, and was, uh, he came with the Kampa people. Ah, but where were you, where were you and, your, and your immediate family, your father and, and uh, mother? Did you, and, uh, I don't know, 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 my father was dead before. When you say that you say that you say that you yeah, then uh, uh, my father was dead earlier and we, with uncle we came with uh, in exile. And our family was came with exile with uncle who was caught mm. by channel. Yeah, so my question, Amga, and the reason I asked it this particular way, there was a certain reason that I asked it the way I asked it. And I know you just said, why was your uncle caught? But my actual question was more like, they were traveling together, so why was it only the uncle who was caught? Why didn't they send them back to exile? Because they're, travel they're all traveling with campers, right? So why, how did, they, why did he get away um, with the rest of his family and his uncle was the only one who was caught? Do you understand the question? I understand. Okay. Uh, my dad is, we waited un until the uncle was sent by the Chinese, released by the Chinese. Uncle, we all came together in exile. When the Chinese uh, caught the, my uncle, mm. we were there itself. We did not run. Oh, they didn't. They actually they did, didn't even go. Do, do anything for us. So they were sent back or as they, well. They were not sent back. They were staying there itself. So you stayed stayed in Gurge. Oh, they didn't even get out of Gurge. We get there. Ah. Oh. They were they were they were, they were kind of running towards the exile. Ah, but and they the, were all stopped. All stopped. And his the uncle. Only uncle was taken by the Chinese oh, authorities. I see. And, then and many couples tried to escape. But then they stayed for They stayed years. because uncle was caught. They oh. bullied them. And they waited for waited three Waited until he released or sent by the Chinese. And then, so after he was released, then you made your escape, is that right? And I would say, 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 he stayed uh, three years under the Chinese uh, the custody, and after it was released, then we came all together in exile. Oh, yeah. 
after you waited for him. Um, so when, when the village was asked to, um, to surrender their weapons, did some people kind of, you know, secretly keep like one gun back? I mean, were there some people who just didn't want to surrender everything? Because then they really realized that they, you know, if they were going to exile without their gun, that's, you know, that's sort of pretty dangerous. So did some people just sort of like that give, you know, surrender one weapon and keep another? Really? Mama, Gomba that's uh, something not, not normal weapon, it was the British or something all weapon, it was that. That was only collected and gave it to them. Mm. Later when the Chinese authority came to our villages and said that they have even lots of weapons to be surrendered. So they, they were forced to surrender the rest of the weapon also. Oh, they, so then also they were... So they had to face, the, they had to surrender the rest of the weapon to them also. Ah, uh, okay, so there was a couple of incidents. Um, so when you say weapons, are we just talking about guns or are there other kinds of weapons? That Gun, were only guns. Only guns, okay. And you were a 20-year-old young man at the time. Did you have a gun? Yamakurta, <laughs> even the, the Gerke wife was uh, treated very, very badly. Chinese authorities just uh, gave him her a labor story, carrying the stones. The, the wife of the leader? The leader of the Gerke. Mm. She was treated very really badly, making her the whole time labor, mm. uh, letting her to carry the stones for road construction, this and that. She faced very severe for uh, hardship during that time. How did your father die? Our general power the kind of stone. It's due to normal death <laughs> or, the disease, or the, that's a disease like that. Nothing with, with the Chinese doing that, never but heard about the Chinese like that. I see. And um, so you said that, um, you know, the reason that uh, the leader of, of your village asked to surrender the weapons is so that you would suffer less than your neighbors, the people of Gerze, who decided not to surrender their weapons. So was it true that the village of the people of, of Gerze suffered less because they had surrendered? Did they suffer less under the Chinese? <laughs> Get 
che sono ancora un po' di cose 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 che sono ancora un So the, the high authorities faced more um, suffering under the Chinese. What about the ordinary people? They Did anyone else in your family suffer under the any particular suffering under the Chinese apart from your uncle, the administrator? ตั้งอยู่ซึ่งน้องมาตอกน้องเจนตั้งน้าเลยยามาตอกเนี่ยสิกูซ่องเดะมันตั้งไอ้น้องยอดะวะตีเมดดอกเจสิกูน้องมา
So when you came out, when after your uncle was released from prison, after he'd been in prison for three years, and then your family decided to, to go into exile, did you face any difficulty coming into exile the second time? I faced that uh, on the way while coming to the actual, we faced all the animal death and beast <coughs> that was the main problem. And we were all together and we stayed on the border before uh, reaching the border. At the border, we stayed one, one year. Then we came to the Ladakh, we stayed almost three years and doing a labor in RB area and this and that was there. Uh, how many animals died? Samja Mahundra Tronsa. Ah. Samja Mahundra Tronsa. Ah, Samja Mahundra Tronsa. Ah, Samja あ、ニケトラロラロ I have almost 50 yaks and uh, uh, 100 sheep, 100 goat and all this way along with me. And they all, they all died on they the all way? They all died on the way. Can you go goodbye, you got all their cars? Everything we left with our all, something, whatever we have in. And why did you spend a year at the border without crossing the border? You said you spent a year at the border. Inside uh, India border, not oh, the India border, near the, near the with border. one uh, one to another. Before coming coming to the Ladakh, they stayed in somewhere with one year. Oh. Then he stayed in Ladakh two years. Then then he came here. I see. So um, I just want to ask you uh, about the salt again. Um, did you use salt for anything else other than eating? That's why raw. Ah, a pillow or two. That's why raw. Get it? 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 Get Nothing only to bring a trade and eating matter. And you yeah, if he, oh, if he is uh, something uh, uh, not, nothing special can be done from that. Only uh, sometimes you with the high lama they used to make some uh, pearls, uh, pearls or something like that for some a, pills. Uh, something mm. like that for a mm. uh, special, yeah. special something like a religious special or something like I that. I see. Mm. Okay. That low line and local page a lot of song. All the woolen of the animals were used in various types of like a, a making a tent or a, a cloth or a bag or something, whatever necessary was used by the animals to wool. So um, can you tell us, how did, um, how did life in, in your village change after the Chinese came? Lumbaco, 
Ale papa ke zuki tengka chu ten nyam ni ke yege je ti nyam ni ni pe mit to ti chu wadu sam chu. I feel very great uh, being a part of it. Uh, it will be a great opportunity as a simple, uh, very simple person sharing this great opportunity and uh, and special you are doing because of your uh, I can do something and uh, I find that this will become a very fruitful result and something like that. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I just need to ask you one more time, because you've told us some stuff. Um, if this interview was shown in Tibet or China, any problem for you? No problem. And we can use your real name? Yeah, sure. Okay. Thanks, thanks again. Mm -hmm.